Hello there, I'm Dave Allen. I'm good and geeky and today we're looking at Affinity Designer and how you can add things to your application such as brushes, assets and other stuff. And there's a couple of ways of doing it. So one way to do it is to go into the web store for Affinity and you'll see all your downloads and product keys. So I've got uh, stuff that I bought here, such as the Affinity V2 Universal License. That's for the whole program. But then I've got other things in here, which is the uh, things like pixel shader brushes, vector shader brushes, picture brushes, textures. And I've even got a couple of templates, the cookbook template and the gradient magazine template. And then I've got this for Brill photography photo template and all these things here. Now what you can do with these here is that you can do so that you don't have to download these. What you can actually do is just go into your application. So here we are in Affinity Designer and in Affinity Designer you can see this thing here where you've got your account and it shows you all the things that you've got here. And I've downloaded a good few of these things already. I've got the uh, Rainbow Overlays by Paper Farms. That's in, that's downloaded. That's bought from the store or got free from the store with Affinity Designer. And then we've got stuff like this one here, the Affinity Pixel Butter Brushes. And you see they've got a tick mark on there. And to do this, all I've got to do is just put a click on this one here, for instance. And actually that will download. And it's available in the application on, these, on this device, on my MacBook Pro. So um, all the stuff there, I've got um, ink stamp textures by M-I-K-S-K-S or whatever it is there. And the Luminance Brush Pack and Memento Shader Brushes. That's all available for me to do. And what you can do is just put a tick mark in this one here, always install available content. On this I'll put no size limit, but you can set it so that it's up to um, whatever size you want. These are the templates they've got. I've downloaded the, these and they're ready to go so I can use these within the application. Now then, what else can we do? I've got, oh, by the way, you've got samples as well. It's time for you to hit the like button on this video. It all helps with the algorithm, you know. And I can click on this one here and I can start up a new document and I'm kind of 90% ready to go. All I've got to start doing is putting the photos in there, text in there, and uh, most of the design's already done and just tweak it here and there as you see fit. These artifacts ones here, they were brought in um, a different way and I'll show you that in a moment. Artista brushes, that one came in from the store. These crayon brushes, these were originally through the application. Artifacts Forge, these ones here were free to use. You've got some uh, canvases there, some cotton weave, soft pressed paper, machine pressed paper. I'm going to have to um, start a seven day trial. So Artista Affinity Designer brush. So you've got a few brushes there, which is cool. Memento shader brushes, I've got memento shader brushes already. There's a lot of stuff in this. Okay, let's go for this uh, Lighthouse Affinity brushes. Just checking it out. So we'll just download it. So I've got that downloaded here and it's coming in and it's a zip file. Here we are in Finder. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to double click on this here. Lighthouse Line Affinity Brushes. You've got instructions there as a PDF. That's cool. Tells you how to do it. So this is the brushes. I think it's probably possible to uh, bring this straight into um, Affinity just by double click on it. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into this uh, here and we're going to go to Brushes. Okay, so here's our brushes, Let's drag this out here. Okay, so let's go to brushes, go to this menu at the top here, and I'm going to import brushes. And import brushes, got to go to downloads folder, and then the Lighthouse Line at Affinity brushes, and to this one here, and click on that there, and click on open. And that's been successfully brought in there and those are vector brushes which is cool vector brushes are available just in the affinity designer and if you go into affinity photo if you've got some brushes which are raster brushes then bitmap brushes then you can use them in there okay let's click ok on that there and uh, let's go back into this one we've got on this here we've got um, this one this one here so that's it those are the brushes brought in there you can bring this and use this as a document if you want to so let's say we've dragged that and put it into pictures. Lighthouse liner brushes, so there they are now, look. Those are the new brushes I've just brought in there. And we've got vector shader brushes there. That's a nice bit of brushes I've brought in, that's from the shop. Vintage banner brushes, see this uh, banner here? That's uh, from this vintage banner brushes. So if I get a uh, line in here now, so let's use this here to make a line. 
We'll start there, go over to there, and we'll put a brush onto that one there, one of these brushes here, so let's use that one. And go to colours and change the line of this colour because make it a bit dark, deeper so we can see it better. So that's how you can use these brushes here. And once I've got that brush in there, I can go to the node tool and I can get this here and drag it down. I can change the shape of that there. How cool is that? And then you can change the stroke of that there to make it bigger. So if I change that, I can take it and make it large. Nice. Now what I can't do with this here is I can't uh, expand the stroke on this one. Here. We've got these assets here and we've also got uh, styles. So these styles here were brought in from artifacts and I added those in the same way as I added the fonts. You just go to the thing to add them and it's pretty easy. So if I go to this here, go to styles and import styles, and I can bring in the styles from wherever I got them. Let's go to this one here. And then I can bring these one here, those are styles, okay? Okay, so I've chosen this curve down at the bottom here and I can go to this here and choose a style. So if I want to put their uh, canvas in there, I can put canvas in there, I can do the machine effects. Okay, so this is Dave Allen, I'm good and geeky and I've just shown you how you can import stuff into Affinity Designer or Affinity Photo. And you've got brushes, assets, styles and textures. So you can bring all of those in and that kind of easy to use. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like button. So we got to the end of the video. If you'd like to get more of these tutorials, click on subscribe and you'll see when there's new videos being made by the good and geeky old bloke. <laughs> bye bye now.